What's up everybody? Kevin here from Scuffleberg Outdoors and this video is all about the G-Speed Custom. This is RC Rig Report, episode 13. Stay tuned. So like I said in the intro, this video is all about the G-Speed V3 Custom Crawler I built. I've already had it at uh, Crawler Island one time and I'm going to start at the bottom to the top. i got a lot of B-roll to show you everything that's on this thing, let you know how I built it and everything. And we also have some footage at the end of the video of it at Crawler Island pulling a line. So let's get started. So here we go. Are y'all ready? The G-Speed RC Rig Report episode 13. Starting at the bottom. We have J Concept Landmine tires mounted on Enjora beadlock wheels with Proline dual stage foams. Moving inside, we have AR45 portals axles with G Speed Pan Hard Brace, 25% overdrive in the portal boxes with Trio Hobbies brass portal covers. Also, we have In the Works RC stainless steel high clearance links connected to G-Speed V3 carbon fiber chassis with a brazen RC skid. And 67 millimeter G-Speed spreader bars with the G-Speed 3D printed chassis protector in the front. G-Speed 4 motor mount, lay down servo mount, pan hard mount, and body mounts. Team garage hacks, zero overdrive transfer case, the Elizabeth, Elizabeth Betsy Ross edition. Reefs RC triple four steering servo, which I think I'm gonna change, but for right now, that's what it is. With a Castle Creations Mamba X, my, excuse me, Mamba Micro X ESC. A Three Brothers 2500 KV yellow jacket motor. Pro-Line, Pro-Spec Scalar Shocks, 90 millimeters. Uh, without a pin spring mod, that may be coming uh, at a later date. A homemade sliders out of aluminum. Uh, try to get creative and make some parts of myself. Pro-Line cliffhanger body painted with Traxxas metallic black paint. And that's pretty much everything. Um, the, the drive shafts are a mix match. I think the front and rear is a KYX and the, from the Ford motor mount to the transfer case is a Enjora, as a matter of fact. Running a Spectrum receiver because I've got it hooked up to my uh, DX5 Rugged. And that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, so let's get it up on, uh, we'll let y'all see it out on the rocks. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll be closing it out from Crawler Island. See you next time.